Good morning everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ben aka Notions. This video is very different to my normal kinds of videos and basically the gist of this video is whether anyone out there, a subscriber or perhaps somebody who comes across this video perhaps by accident or from obviously searching on YouTube for a Chanel woman's scarf and basically I found this in my room where I live in my supported accommodation and well obviously it's a woman's scarf and it says Chanel all over it and the logo for Chanel as well as you can see there it's in reverse because of, well it's in, it's on, uh, being filmed on the camera so obviously it's a different image to what it looks like here now as you can see this might work you see it says so now apart from the end looks back to front but in real life it is completely normal and you might be wondering how it feels and to me it, it's not silk that's for sure it feels like maybe nylon polyester or something similar but it has a label in it which simply says chanel as you can see now if i if it would if i could get the label to go outwards properly yeah you can see it says Almost, you can see it's a shiny. So yeah, Chanel. I think you can see it. It's a Chanel there. So yeah, basically, that concludes my video. And I just wondered if any of my subscribers out there, wherever you are in the world, whether any of you guys and girls know if this stuff is legitimate, i.e real or whether it is a replica i.e fake is it authentic or is it not authentic i really don't think it's real i don't think there's much chance it can be real because of it being a kind of nylon material or i don't i'm not too sure but uh i just need other people's views on it if possible and yeah, I'll upload this video in a couple of minutes and if there's anyone out there knows the answer or how to tell whether a Chanel woman's scarf is indeed authentic or whether it is not authentic, then please let me know how to tell the difference and I'll get on the case. I am thinking of putting the item on eBay and just starting it starting at the auction at a low price for putting a reserve on it. Well I am not sure what happens if the reserve isn't met in that I will probably have, still have to pay an insertion fee to eBay and also obviously when it sells, if it sells there's a final value fee as well and PayPal fees on top of that. It may be I'll be better off selling it locally in the town I live in. So yeah, something to think about. I'll end this video now. So I'll say thanks to all of you, to all of you for watching this video. And also, uh, please subscribe if you wish to see more videos from me about computer stuff in general, mainly and the autobiography video as well as my usual videos about CBD hemp flower, CBD. Uh, isolate BCE liquid and all sorts of other things, computer and fuel related mainly, and obviously prescription notes as well. So, yeah, thanks very much, all of you, for watching this video, and I hope you have a very nice day. Cheers for now. Bye all.